In this how-to video, we'll convert a 3277 size, 240 square centimeter actuator from fail open to fail close. Detailed step-by-step -step instructions can also be found by following the link in the video description below. With the actuator removed from the valve, unscrew the nuts and bolts on the diaphragm case. Lift off the top diaphragm case. Remove the diaphragm plate assembly consisting of the diaphragm plate, diaphragm and actuator stem from the actuator case. Remove the springs. Clamp the bottom section of the actuator stem into a vise using protective jaws, ensuring the actuator stem is not damaged. Remove the collar nut. Remove the diaphragm plate from the actuator stem, flip upside down, and place them back onto the actuator stem. Reinstall the collar nut. If necessary, apply a suitable lubricant to the actuator stem. Install the diaphragm plate assembly together with the actuator stem pointing downward into the bottom diaphragm case. Place the springs onto the diaphragm plate, centering them in the intended recesses. The final actuator spring range will determine the appropriate springs to be installed. Place the top of the actuator case onto the assembly. Ensure that the air connections on the cases are correctly aligned with each other. Fasten the top and bottom diaphragm cases together using the nuts and bolts. Observe tightening torques. We hope you find this video helpful and thank you for watching.